Today would have been Corporal Frankie Gross's 34th birthday. This morning, his father Craig shared this touching photo on Facebook. It's been eight years since Craig Gross lost his son. The two shared much more than a last name. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Oldsmar, where a father and son's shared hobby is helping a family cope with loss. It really is. This is a, it's a sanctuary. Sanctuaries are places you know? of calm and courage. It is a spiritual experience. You and know, in I'll this take, case, color. I'll take the ultramarine blue. This sanctuary yeah. has re-inspired Craig Gross. This is going to be a forest type of scene. Craig has been painting for as long as I've known him. Painting is part of who Craig is. I love being out here. More than a pastime, painting is an outlet for Craig. Absolutely. For creativity and cope. Uh, he was an excellent artist. Our son Frankie was killed in combat theater July the 16th, 2011. After that happened, Craig became very depressed, um, very sad, and struggled with his grief. After my son was killed in action, I quit painting altogether. A hobby they once shared and, uh, only reminded Craig of loss, something he held on to for years. This last year when we were in Arlington, I made a promise to my son at his gravesite that I would start painting again. Overnight, the paintings returned. It's almost like second nature. Tears replaced by watercolors creating stunning pieces. Every day I come out and I paint. Always patriotic, always passionate. He even sent one to the White House. President Trump and Melania sent us a beautiful letter. Dear Craig, thank you for the beautiful paintings. Your beloved son, Corporal Frank R. Gross, is an American patriot who valiantly answered the call of duty in defense of our freedom. Please know that our nation's debt to Frank and to your entire family is everlasting. Sincerely, Donald Trump and Melania Trump. It's been eight years since Frankie died and about six they months since Craig went back well. to paint. I really believe that, that art heals. A dad who misses his son and now honors him in a colorful way. I was very depressed after I lost my son in the war and now I feel like I'm really back and I'm, I'm kind of living again. Mm. Oh, that's good to hear. It is so nice to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So Frank and two of his grandparents are buried in Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. That's pretty special. Craig also paints portraits of other fallen soldiers and sends those paintings to the Gold Star family. That's pretty incredible, too. The Grosses were invited to meet the president at the White House in 2017. Craig says he'll keep that letter from President Trump in a prominent place in his home.